Hi, my name is Because Becca, and we are live because we are going to listen to episode four. Sorry, I got to turn my, down my volume a bit. Episode four of Edge of Sleep, which is The Maniac and the Moobles, part one. All right, here we go. Episode four, where we left off last time, uh, we had Mateo and Linda and Davey, and Katie <clears throat> was heading to Davey when she comes across the serial killer person who just got a gun and made me very, very nervous. Okay, let me see what's happening. Can't see. Can't breathe. I'm wet. It's blood. Don't panic. Focus. Can you move your arms? No. Fuck. Fuck. Stay calm. Don't show him you're afraid. He's watching me. I can smell him. He stinks of B.O. Let's go for a ride, California boy. I'm bound gagged and strapped to a wheelchair at the Santa Mira Hospital. Prediction, prediction. I predict he kidnapped Katie, and in order to save Katie, Davey tried to save her, and Davey got himself into trouble. Prediction. Uh, I don't know if we'll actually find that out. Ten minutes ago, he attacked us. Oh, shit! Shut down! That's why I'm bleeding. I think I've been shot. I can feel a hole in my ribcage. It hurts. Just don't fucking scream. This is a nice hospital. Everything in California is nice. Must be all those high taxes. What happened to Linda and Mateo? Ah! I heard them screaming. They dropped to the floor and then... I couldn't see. A window exploded in my face. Ah! My vision was blurry. Blood poured into my eyes. Then he got me. But why? What's his Okay, California, this'll do. Now, I'm gonna uncover your eyes and take the gag out of your mouth. If you scream, I'll cut your tongue off. Not if you understand me. Good. <coughs> now I'm going to untie your hands and feet, and if you can, please hop onto the table. We're in an operating room. I see tools on the surgical tray. What the fuck is he gonna do? Can I reach for the scalpel? No. Quick way to get my head blown off. Up you go. There you go. As I hop under the table, I realize I'm fucking feeling it. Half an hour ago, I ingested 300 milligrams of modafinil, the most potent simulant known to man. And now, I'm in the fucking fast lane. It feels like I'm on coke, but focused and calm. Hold still, please. He's strapping me to the table. Fuck. Stay in the moment. I might only have one shot to get out of this. You're David, right? Yeah. Katie told me you were here. She's a nice girl. You're a lucky guy. Right now, I don't feel so lucky. <laughs> That's funny. I made him laugh. Is that good? He's walking over to the tools. Fuck, he's picking up the saw. I want to scream. It takes all of my strength to hold it back. My mind is racing. I can't keep up with my own thoughts. Three options lay out before me. Option one. Please, you don't have to do this. I, I don't want to die. And break down. I beg for my life. <laughs> no, God! No! Fuck that. He'd probably love to hear me beg. I won't give him the satisfaction. Option two. 
If you're gonna kill me, just do it already. I accept my fate. I am going to die. I try to anger him so that he kills me quickly. Is this what you do to get off, you little limp dick fuck? No! There's a chance that it could backfire. That would be bad. Option three... Katie broke up with me. About two weeks ago. Option three? Uh, I've had bad fucking breakups before, but this one hurt like your bullet. Well, they say broken bones mend faster than broken hearts. I keep them talking. If Mateo or Linda made it out, maybe they'll come for me. Maybe. Maybe they're dead. But I have to keep him engaged. Intrigue him, flatter him. Buy as much time as I can. It's the only chance I've got. When you fall in love, that person, they light up the room. They shine so bright that you're blinded. You can't see their flaws, you know. Your friends can see them, so can your family. But they're hidden from you. <coughs> Eventually, you know, that light begins to dim. The brightness fades and you can see clearly again. Then, the flaws start becoming visible. They become so noticeable you fixate on them. That's what happened to Katie. She saw something dark in me that outweighed the light. And what did she see? Something unpredictable. It scared her. You don't look scary. Neither do you. What was she afraid would happen? Maybe he's capable of hurting this one. That I'd hurt her. Would you? I don't know. Pick up the scalpel. Interesting theme. Excuse me? Pick it up. <laughs> now cut open my shirt. Man, you are all kinds of crazy. Oh, my. He looks down at the old scars that cover my body. I can tell that he's curious. Thank Christ. I know I bought myself five, maybe ten more minutes. The story I'm gonna share is painful, but it gives me more time. I will use my personal suffering to entertain him. Like any good Who did this to you? Would. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Have you ever heard of the Moobles? She isn't responding to me. Right, one second. Just unlocking the door. Hi, my name is Linda, and this is Mateo. We're here to help you. We've been, we've been kidnapped. I don't know the other girl's name, but she fell asleep, and now she's not responding. She's dead. What? I'm sorry. Shouldn't you check her pulse or something? You're Katie, right? Yes. I recognize you from Instagram. I work with Dave. What the fuck is going on? She was fine five minutes ago. She just fell asleep. We're in an epidemic. We don't know how it works, but it's triggered by sleep. What? Did you see where he kept the keys for this lock? Maybe in the glove compartment? Oh, he the has them on a keychain. Shit. Can we break her loose? No fucking way. He put a steel padlock around the chains. Where's Dave? He's still inside. Is he okay? We didn't see what happened. That cycle lit up the fucking place. We ran for the exit. You can't leave Dave alone with that man. He's very ill. What does he want? Uh, I don't know. He said... 
He said Katie's he said he wanted to grab a couple more girls and head down the coast. Fucking hell. In this channel, we stand What are you doing? <laughs> Checking the glove compartment. Maybe he left a handgun. What? Did you find something? Linda. Linda! Driver's licenses. All girls. There are dozens of them. As I lie strapped at the table, I finish my story. A part of me feels ashamed to have shared something so intimate with this man. You didn't tell me. Was it worth the five minutes has bought me? You've been through a lot. It was a long time ago. It doesn't matter. That kind of pain stays with you. I've tried to move on. Put it behind me. Is the serial killer this guy, uh... Has you know, been? it sounds like you could use a little R&R, &R, my friend. The ability to empathize or sympathize? Tell you what. I was thinking about heading down to Cabo with a couple of girls. Why don't you come along? It'd be nice to have another guy around. You hang out with too many women and it really fucks with your head. Like Play long, out, kiss his ass, act like you're buying into his bullshit. <laughs> well, yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> and in case you haven't noticed, there aren't a lot of people around. We can do whatever we want. Oh, let's go. First, there's just one little problem we need to address. It's yeah? Okay. It's important to keep things simple. Start this off on the right note. Uh, agreed. And the last thing we want is drama and bad vibes when we're down in paradise. <laughs> yeah, totally. Drama and bad vibes as so, kidnapping serial what killer. What do we do about Katie? I know you both have a history. I'm I'm starting to take a shine to her. Uh, no, you, you you don't understand. Katie and I, we're done. And we're... The real issue is that I'm a jealous guy. Hi and bye, Midnight Vows. Um totally okay that you can't join uh this will be uploaded later so no worry um this part oh gosh oh no i just won't be able to trust you but i've got a solution what are you doing it's a simple procedure won't take five minutes we'll get you an ice pack and some advil and you'll be on your feet in 24 hours what the fuck is that Morphine. I'll apply it to the region and you won't feel a thing. But no, get the fuck away from me! If you squirm, I'll have to put you under. Help! Just relax. It's easier than getting your wisdom teeth out. Listen, don't do this. David, I promise you won't miss them. You'll be as happy as every dog you see on the street. Wait, 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 wait. They're a smart animal and they don't... My brain miss it. Did he say what he's doing? They're a smart animal and they don't seem to mind. Always smiling with their tongues out, wagging their tails, and every one of them has been snipped. Fuck you. As I writhe, I realize one of my arm straps is loose. If I pull free, you'll notice immediately. Yeah, There's nothing it. I can do. Uh, 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 oh god. Oh fuck, he's unbuckling my pants. <laughs> Don't scream. Don't beg. That's exactly what he wants. I know you might be a little resentful at first, but we'll move past this. You and I are going to be best friends. You'll still be able to enjoy a beer on the beach, watching the sunset, feeling the sand between your toes. And at night, when Katie and I are having fun in our room, you'll just have to enjoy a good book. Don't close your eyes. Look straight at him. Don't be afraid. Fuck him. Power's gone out. Fuck! We're alone in the darkness. This is my chance. I pull my arm free. Reach for the scalpel. The blade cuts my fingers open. But I grab it anyway. I find his handle and swing it at the darkness. I hit the fucker. Maybe his arm or his shoulder. Oh, you're dead! The power turns on. As my eyes adjust to the light, I see Mateo crouch low. Come here! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Mateo! Mateo! Hey, man! Jesus Christ, what God. the fuck did he do? 
Ah, uh, oh, shot me. Mateo, I got the fucker, but you need to come down here right now. Dave's been shot. It's bad. He's losing a lot of blood. Uh, I'm on my way. Uh, 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 where's Katie? Hey, she's okay, man. Relax. Don't try to get up. Breathe. It's just you're crying in my right Breathe. Now. His breath was really shaky. Wow. That was good. Hello? <laughs> I remember a lesson my mother taught me. It was during the year I was sent away. Up north, in the forests of Oregon. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear David, happy birthday to you. That was beautiful. Hi Stella, hi Tree, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> okay bud, blow out your candles. I thought I paused it and then she kept talking and I was like, what? What's going on? Hello, 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 welcome. If you missed any part of this, it's going to be uploaded um, later. Quick, before they melt. Okay, then. I'll just blow them out. <gasps> Want a slice of cake? Okay, fine. More for myself. David, are you really not going to talk to me? Listen, I know you're disappointed, but I spoke to your dad, and we both didn't think it was the right time for a visit. I agree, Jan. But he loves you, and he misses you, and he's so proud of how well you're doing. You said I could see him. Soon, I promise. Every time. Then? Soon, okay? A few more months. How about opening your present? Is it blocks? No, it's not blocks. What is it? Well, you'll have to open it and see. Her. It's really fun. I will teach you how to play. I don't want to. Oh. David. I want a real toy. I want to see Dad. I know, I know, honey. He wants to see you too. I hate it here. I want to go home. Davy, Davy. I want to go home. I want to go home. Stop it. You know we can't go home right now. Not until you're better. Can I just have one real toy? Not yet. Why not? What about my dinosaur? I had them before. David, you know why you can't have your dinosaurs. Because you dream about them? Because of the bad thing? That's right. The bad thing in my brain? It will use them. And make them bad. Right, that's why we're here. Okay, so to fight the SpongeBob. bad thing. And guess what? We're winning. I know it's boring here. There's no TV or toys or kids to play with. But the bad thing has nothing it can use to hurt you. We're safe here. Maybe it's calm now. Mm, I don't think so, sweetheart. Something about I the way her talk. It's hiding. The way she talks reminds waiting me of, for us to make a mistake. Re reminds me of. But Winona. we're not going to. We're, we're. Reminds me of Winona Ryder in uh, Stranger Things, like, and some of the times the way she talks, like a certain way. I don't know. Too smart. And if we stay and keep fighting, the bad thing will give up. It will get bored and leave you alone forever. We just got to be strong. We gotta be fucking tough. You just said a bad word. Yeah, Mom. <gasps> I know. You know, sometimes it's okay to say bad words. Like on your birthday? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like on your birthday. Can I say it? Let's both say it. Oh, gosh. We gotta be fucking tough. We, we gotta, gotta be, be fucking, fucking tough. tough. We yeah, gotta be fucking tough. tough. We so gotta be fucking tough. tough. See? It felt really good, right? Yeah. Now, let's eat some fucking cake. Gosh, mom's losing it. <laughs> You've lost a lot of blood, Dave. I need to remove the bullet immediately. Uh, have you done this before? No. Oh, well, I've never been shot before, so... First time for the both of us. Cool. Do you know your blood type? Oh. No. Oh. I think. You think or you know? Well, I'm I'm pretty positive. We need to be sure, Dave. A transfusion with okay. the wrong blood. Pause. 
I was just so I've been staring at this screen if you can see my mouse uh, as I watch and I find my eyes sometimes as I'm listening go to all kinds of different points of the artwork and I could have sworn just now that he blinked <laughs> I think I'm losing it uh Tracy gets mom of the year award I love her so much oh blood type would be really fucking bad I'm 90 percent certain hey how you doing man Oh, you know, I'm a little leaky, but Linda's gonna patch me up. Where'd you take him? I locked homeboy in the custodial closet. Homeboy. Is he secure? I threw him to the ground and cuffed his legs and arms together. Fucker isn't going anywhere. He really turned on the waterworks, though. Started crying, snot dripping on the floor. Yeah, man. Jesus he was so scared, I thought he shit himself. Oh, my God. Dave. Katie stood in the doorway. She looked tired and shaken. Her eyes were red and hazy. I noticed the cast on her arm. It ran from her wrist to her elbow. I had never seen her this way. Aww. So right. DJ, yeah, I think, I don't know if it's O, but there is like a universal donor one. So why doesn't she just go with that one? I don't know. I don't know anything medical though, so. Run down like a person who had a glimpse into hell. Come here. As we held each other, her shirt began to soak in my blood. Both of us were scared, wounded, and going off for 48 hours without sleep. Hi. Hey. How's your day been? <laughs> Fuck. Oh. What did he do to you? Oh, it's nothing. I'm okay. I just, um, I'm really happy to see you. This, it's okay. It'll all hey, be Dave. uploaded later. Yeah. We should operate now. Yeah. But, welcome. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Mateo? Yes? I need you to see if the computers are running. If they are, pull up Dave's file and find his blood type. Then I need you to run down to the freezer and bring me a 250 milliliter blood bag that matches his blood type. Can you handle that? You got it. Is there anything I can do? Smile. I don't know. Keep no, Dave company. Smile, <laughs> okay. First, I need to clean the wound. Oh! <sighs> Sorry. Shit. Now I'm going to inject you with some lidocaine. Oh. oh! As the tingling numbness settled over the wound, I looked up at Katie. <sighs> this isn't going to be easy. If you need to step out of the room, I'd, I'd understand. I'm not going anywhere. She took my hand and held it tight as Linda picked up the scalpel. You ready? Uh, just fucking do it. All right, before I listen to him uh, die in pain, data hunter and gather authorized personnel. This is the um, game theory merch um, from Matt Pat. Uh, I don't think it has anything on the back. I also got the, uh, what do you call it? The bomber bomber jacket that um on the back says research team and has redacted text inside it's really cool their merch is uh really nice really high quality i also just got some tommy in it merch yesterday that i really like as well uh some youtubers are actually making really decent stuff i feel like a lot of times they make you know really cheap stuff but it's been really nice anyway okay let's listen to him die in pain as he gets this bullet taken out of him by someone who's never done it before but if they can do it in the movie game night surely they could do it here On most nights, the old man's dreams were peaceful. Lava lamp, so cool. He would dream of the jungle, his childhood home, where his people had lived for thousands of years. In his dreams, he would become an eagle and fly high above the trees. On some nights, he'd be a wild boar or a snake in the grass or a tree frog. And sometimes he'd dream of the ocean, where he'd take the form of a whale. But over the last few weeks, his dreams turned dark. The old man's visions disturbed him. He'd 
dreamt of a wicked thing chasing him through the jungle. It was a beast with many faces that howled like a monkey, hissed like a snake, and laughed like a woman. The old man knew he could not outrun it. He would have to turn around and face it. He would have to fight. <laughs> You've been dreaming again. Want some water? No six, Pop. <coughs> doctor says... Spit on the doctor. It's my lungs. <laughs> okay, Pop. Going back to sleep. Night. This dialogue says my is a bit odd. June 30th. Six nights before it began. <clears throat> the old man's dreams hadn't been this vivid since he was a what year? <clears throat> June 30th, six nights before it began. Oh. <clears throat> the old man's dreams hadn't been this vivid since he was a boy, back when he left his tribe. <clears throat> that was over 50 years ago. He had lived in the mining town for most of his life. He raised his son here and buried his wife here. But now, after half a century, the spirits of the jungle were warning him. Something was coming. The old man stepped outside to smoke on the porch and listen to the rain. That's when he heard something strange coming from the back of the house. It was the baby lamb, just born last week. The river must have overflooded because it was being ripped apart by a dozen crabs. The old man took a rock and ended its misery. This was a dark omen, something unnatural. These were creatures from the land and water that were never supposed to meet. But the barrier between their worlds had been broken and could never be repaired. The crabs of the river had now developed a taste for lamb. That's so weird. <laughs> the edge of sleep starts. I love how it goes from da 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 to da 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 da. <laughs> it's so funny. It's always like. Just the, I don't know. It's just funny to me. All right. Cool. Cool. Okay. So that was episode four, the maniac and the moobles. Moobles. Uh, still, we didn't hear. I mean, we heard about the maniac and we heard Dave, David, Davy, Mark, Marky, Markiplier mention moobles. But I don't think we learned anything about moobles. That's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, I'm going to be doing some different kinds of videos upcoming in the next couple weeks. Uh, my Technoblade song should be out in the next week or two. And uh, yeah, that's all. Bye.